Hey everyone, it's the Chandigan here, and um, I am back with another reaction video. Uh, my friend Mr. Midblocks, I'm hoping I said that name right, I, I've been getting his name mixed up a lot recently when it comes to spelling or just saying it, so sorry if I say your name wrong, dude, don't mean to, but I just have a hard time pronouncing words, so same for spelling, so I'm sorry about that. Anyways, um, he asked me to react to his Equestrianville, hope I said that right, series. It's a My Little Pony series, which I'm assuming, it's like Equestrian Girls, but Equestrianville, so... I don't know if it's takes place in, I'm assuming it takes place in Equestria, um, or I don't know if it does, I don't really know what's about it, but I am looking forward to seeing it. I have, there's three episodes, I, I actually voice one of the characters in one of the episodes, so that's really interesting. Um, there's three episodes, each episode seems to be like seven to eight minutes, so altogether maybe this video will be 20 minutes, if that. So, but yeah, this is going to be something interesting. I, I'm looking forward to doing this. So, uh, I'll put the link for Mr. Midblocks' channel in the description. And, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. I just want to check the time really quick, as I always do. Okay. So, uh, with that said, let's do this. My Little Pony, you can question though, Season 1, Episode 1, Daylight and the Zap Apples. Hope I said that right. Alright. Don't know how loud this is going to be. Want to make sure I can hear, but I want to make sure you guys can hear it. So let's keep it at 63 for now. With that said, starting in 3, 2, 1, play. Little ponies can do big things. Well, that's cute. This was before the events of season. Okay, this was the this was before the events of MLP Friendship with Magic season one. Ah, that's cool. Ah, the Milo Point thing. Cool. Daylight. We're oh, going too fast. Oh, that's okay. Based on the Milo Point Friendship with Magic season. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Milo Point question though. That's actually really cool. Hello, I'm Daylight Twinkle, and you guys probably know the story of my cousin Twilight Sparkle and how she made new friends in Ponyville, and oh. how she became an alicorn and a princess too. But there was a story that no pony has ever heard of before. I'm gonna pause this quick. I'm gonna pause it throughout the video so I can get my thoughts. Twilight's cousin, that's not, not only really cool, because we don't know much about her fan besides her, well, actual family, but also it's giving me Thomas and the Magic Railroad vibes. I, I really like that. Did I press play? Yep, yeah, okay. Cancel our castle? Okay. Well, Twilight, I guess this is it. You get to go to Cantorwell the Wheel with Princess Celestia while I go work in Equestrianville to get my dream job as a train conductor. Oh, yeah, cool. Cousin Daylight Twinkle, this is it, and I hope we see each other again soon. So do I. And Spike, here's a little gem as an offering of our friendship. That's well, cute. thanks, Daylight Twinkle, and I'll miss you too, and I hope you have fun in Equestrianville. Okay, so. That's cool, I like it. Well, there's my train. Bye, Twilight and Spike. Bye, Daylight, bye, Daylight. Oh, hey. the board! I actually like it how Spike and, um. Uh, what's her name? A da daylight? A daylight? Hope I'm saying it right. Daylight. I, I like how they're, um, a paper. I like that. I imagine they were chopping sound effects. That's cool. Equestrianville, here I come. Show up Twilight and Spike do okay in Canterlot. But might as well enjoy the ride. I wish uh, I could make some uh, Milo Pony trains. That'd be really cool. Oh, that's cool. Bunch of the quest. Middle Lego. I like that. There was someone seeing many Tony tracks in there. You push me, though. Okay, so it's not really like a train right away from uh, Cantalot. That's kind of cool. World building. I like that. Oh, I'm here. At last. Right, must go and find my house and maybe make some new friends. Ah, it's always windmill, cool. Ah, that's where the shed's supposed to be buildings. I like that. 
Hmm, every pony seems nice here as the ones where me and Twilight used to live. A Lego hole is cool. Ooh. There's a nice house right there. I'm gonna go check it out and see if I want it. Oh, so it hasn't bought a house yet, okay. Nice, it's, it has its own big room. Ooh. And a living room. And a kitchen. Hmm. And here's my room. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going to go in and purchase this place. That's cool. Right, yeah. I'm going to go and make some new friends I here in like Equestrian the stop motion. The stop motion is cool. Oh, hello there. You must be new around here. My name is Banjo. Like my cutie mark. What's your name? Oh, that's cool. Well, hi, Banjo. My name is Daylight Twinkle, and I was wondering, would Daylight you Twinkle. be my friend? There you go. Of course I will. Brilliant. And say, would you come over to my house? I'm planning a big dinner for you and me. Sure, I'll be at your house by 6 o'clock tonight. See you later, Banjo. See you later, Daylight. If only it was that easy to make actual friends, because, you know, when it comes to making friends, you know, you need to talk to people and stuff like that. But it, it luckily, it can be easy, which is nice, because I've made a lot of friends on YouTube, like Mr. Blue Bow Engine, Spider Fan, and Mr. Midblocks, of course. So it, it is, it, some people may say it's hard, and it can be, but at least when it comes to making friends, it can be easy. And thankfully for some people, it is. Okay, I got all the kitchen is, materials I'll need for my first friend dinner tonight. Hopefully. Now I just need some food. Hmm, I'm thinking Zap Apples. Get your free Zap Apple recipes here, huh? Oh, Zap Get your free okay. Granny Smith Zap Apple Jam recipes straight from Sweet Apple Eggers. Oh, cool. Excuse me, you say this is a Zap Apple Jam recipe stand? Aye, it is. And they're free? Yes. I'll take one. Here you go, Lassie. Thank you. That's cool. Okay, I got the Zap Apple Jam recipe. Let's see what the instructions say on it. Step one, go find some Zap Apples from a tree. Okay, I'll do that. So it's like an I hope there's story. nothing like in, in these woods. I hope I find some Zap Apple trees sooner or later. Yes, there's the Zap Apple trees. Ah, Better go and start picking them. That's cool, the uh, rainbow Okay, apples. the Zap Apples are boiling really well in the pot. I'm gonna go and give it a taste. Tastes a bit bland. What does Phase 2 say on the recipe? It says, go grab some honey from the beehive. Okay, I'll do that too. I ah, here it is. Uh, bees, can I have some of your honey? Stove is boiling. Oh... <laughs> I was just asking for some of your honey, boys. Don't sting me. That's funny. Biz, 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 biz. Hmm. Okay, I think the bees are gone now. I can fill this jar up with honey. Really okay, I got the honey. Now time for phase two. Okay, I got the honey. Now what's phase three? Give the glass jars a talking to. Okay, that's weird, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, some picture had something happen. Listen up, there. soldiers! I have my friend coming, and I do not want you to let the jam expire. You hear me? Okay, <laughs> I did it. That should have done something. Okay, phase four. Paint pink dots in your kitchen. What? Okay. Okay, I put all the ingredients in. I drawed pink dots in my kitchen, and let's see how it tastes. Did Pinkie Pie get on this list a little bit? It tastes brilliant! Alright, I need to go and get the food ready. He'll be here about 6 o'clock. It's almost 6 o'clock. Better get ready. The way how he said brilliant, it reminds me of how Jim Carrey says it in the Grinch movie. Uh, just, I know it, it's random, but I just like that. Well, I'm here. Hey, Banjo, you're just in time. Come on in. I like it how, um, Daylight Sparkle, uh, um, yeah, Daylight Spark Sparkle, I'm sorry if I'm getting all these names mixed up, I, again, I'm not good at remembering <laughs> stuff, but hope, I like it how it kind of reminds me of Mr. C from, Mag from the Magic Wheel, I, I like that. Mm -mm -mm. This Zap Apple Feast is good, I love it, Daylight, thank you, Bancho, you're welcome, Daylight, great. and I hope you enjoy your time in Equestrianville, I'm glad you moved here, so did I. Although I do miss my cousin a little bit. Who? Oh, my cousin Twilight Sparkle. She lives in Canterlot. I do kind of miss her. Oh, I'm sure you'll see her again soon. Yeah, I hope so too, and I hope she does okay there. 
But all in all, I'm glad I moved to a question field. It's a great place, and I enjoyed you as my new friend, and I enjoyed this Zap Apple feast. Yeah, you must have gone for a lot of trouble to make it. Yeah, I have. Yep. So what do you say, Banjo? Friends forever? Friends forever! I like that. I don't pick one. Just something quick, something to the point. I like that. As a way to start off a series, that is really cool. I, I really like that. I, I really do like that. Episode 1 was really good. And the Zap Apples, that's actually really cool. I don't think they ever said that in the show. I like that. Okay, episode 2. Uh, Trouble on the Tracks. Alright, so this has to do with a train, I'm assuming. This episode's 8 minutes, okay. Little ponies can do big things. Daylight... Okay, I want to make sure I get this character's name right. Can I go back? Little ponies can do big things. Daylight Twinkle. Okay, Daylight Twinkle. There we go. Daylight Twinkle. I gotta remember that. Daylight Twinkle. That's actually... Well, it's a good name in general. You know, you don't hear the word Twinkle often. Like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You don't hear that often anymore. I, I like that. Questionville. Trouble on the tracks. Written by Mr. Blo Mr. Special. Okay, going too fast. Oh, Daffy Dips. Okay, today's the day of my first job on the Friendship Express train. Now I must practice my conductor skills. Don't want them to get rusty. Ticket puncher, check. Lantern, nice. check. Conductor uniform on, check, check. Now, time to practice my all aboard. Oh, yeah. Oi, 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 all aboard! Oh, and also, the guards whistle. Alright, I think I have everything. Now, I must get going before I'm late. That's cool. Gotta get going, mustn't be late. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. day. That's a classic. Okay, sir, right I'm here. Ah, Mr. Twinkle, my new employee. This is your first day on the job. Have you got everything? Yes, I do. I practice my all board. I have my whistle, and I have my uniform, and my lantern. I have everything a conductor needs. I'm ready and reporting for duty, Mr. Conductor, sir. Great. The train should be here any second now. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Twinkle. You too, Conductor. All aboard! Duh! Side my nose. Side. Oh, Polar Express Apple Whistle. Cool. I like it how he mixes his Lego with track mat of uh, Tony. I really like that. Okay, first things first is to punch the passenger's tickets. How about you, good sir? Do you have your ticket? Yes, I do, conductor. Thank you. Let me punch it for you. That is cool. There you go, sir. Your ticket is punched. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I think I see some kids over there missing with some emergency cable, it looks like. What? Hey, you! That cable's for emergency purposes only. Ah, that's Polar Express reference. I like that. So many references I'm noticing. I like that. Ooh, that's really cool. Nice night, a uh, nice uh, night effect. Ooh, punching those tickets and taking care of the passengers was hard work. At least I can get some good night sleep in this observation car till we get to the next stop. Uh oh, that's not good. Ugh. What? We seem to be slowing down. Let me see what's going on. Uh, what? How did the observation car get uncoupled? Well, at least things can't get any worse. Oh dear. And that's why I never say that, because things will always get worse. I must get my lantern ASAP. <laughs> cool. Okay, got my lantern. Let's stop their train ASAP. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, stop your train! Stop your train! Uh, I've been working. Huh? What's that I see down the track? Fast Holy I guacamole! Like that. That's a stallion stranded on an observation car. I must stop the train. Oh, 
It's not going to stop in time. I'm going to jump. I'm not going to stop this train in time. I must jump. Luckily, no one was hurt. So I had to make a reference. Boy, what a mess. <coughs> oh, is me. <laughs> hey man, are you okay? Yes, I'm alright, but why was there an observation car in the middle of the track in the middle of nowhere and caused this crash? I don't know. The first thing I knew, I was asleep in the observation car. The next thing I knew, we were slowing down. Then I realized we I was in the middle of nowhere. Then your train came out of nowhere. Then this happened. Seems like a real life accident, because stuff like this has actually happened before in real life. Like, there's been a... Oh, what was it? There was um two trains a long, long time ago, like in the early 50s, I think. I could be wrong. A train was going to a bridge, and they couldn't stop in time. So they waved the... They um they made a big fire so people could see what it was. And the, fire and drive, the driver and fireman jumped out. But the other ones wanted to make sure they got the train there on time. And luckily, the... The actual train itself made it, but sadly the passengers didn't. So it really reminds, it's kind of like a social commentary on, you know, how train accidents really do happen. It's, it is really amazing how stuff like this happens, but it's not, I like that social commentary because even a small, like, a small, tiniest thing can make a train uh, crash. It's, it's insane. It really is. Well, I guess we'll have no choice but to sit out here and wait for help to come. Agreed. Please, Celestia, let home come. The next morning. <sighs> well, it's morning, and still no help has came. I hate it when I have to sleep in this grass. Look! <laughs> Like hey, you two. Are you guys okay? Oh, oh thanks, thanks, Celestia. You're, you're here, here to the rescue us. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we heard about the crash, and we're here to rescue you two, and we'll clean it up immediately. Right now, let's get on board the train and get back to a question field, and you guys can go home, yeah? Yeah, I just want to get home, because I don't feel so good right now after that wreck last night. Hopefully he keeps his job. I'm pretty sure being a train can not be this easy. I really <laughs> the Home. Who oh, is me? Hey, Daylight. I heard about that train crash you were in last night. Are you okay? I'm kind of injured after jumping off the observation car, but I I think I'll be okay as long as I get into my bed and give myself some medicine to help me heal back up. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, Daylight, I found some new ponies that I think will make great friends. They're really nice guys, and here they are. Meet Sedgwick and Cody, our new friends. Cody and Sedgwick? Hopefully I said that name right. Again, I really like how they all, they made a paper, but, you know, they're colored by marker. It's just, it really adds the, to the, um, not only the character of them, but it really shows, like, instead of just doing a simple Photoshop of a pony OC, you just make your own out of paper. It's, it really shows the extra mi mile that you have, um, for making a series, or just uh, your character in general, which I like. Hey there, Sedgwick and Cody. It's nice to meet you two. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh dear, are you okay? Eh, not so much. Last night, if, in case you haven't heard, there was a train wreck. Somehow, the observation car I was sleeping in uncoupled. I woke up in the middle of nowhere, then I saw another train coming right at me, and me and the engineer jumped off, and the train, boom, crashed into the observation car, and now I don't feel so good, I'm a bit injured after jumping off. Sorry to hear about the crash you were in. Oh, it's no big deal, Cody. I'll be a o a o a o. Coughing's probably not a good sign. Yeah, I should really get inside my home before I damage my body even more from the wreck. I go to the doctor. Unless no, if someone safe. can give me a helping hand inside, since I don't feel so well. Let's help you into your home. I agree, Cody. We should help him. Yeah, I'll help you too, Daylight. After all, I am your friend, good old Banjo. Oh, and also, just between you and me, when I first met Cody, he thought my banjo was a pickle. Now it was kind of triggered. 
But I wear it slide because it kind of does look like a pickle. <laughs> wow. Thank you guys for helping me get into my I home. I hope that. I feel better it soon so I can get back to work and enjoy my time in Equestrianville. Yeah, we can help a friend in need. Indeed. Yep, as they say, friendship is magic. magic. I really like that, like the actual Lego thing. That is, that is really cool. Uh, episode two. Uh, yeah, there's definitely trouble on the tracks. And um, it's, again, straight to the point. I really like that. Make uh, you made some new. He made some new friends. That was really cool. And all the references and stuff. Like I've noticed, each episode gets better and better. I actually really do like that. Okay, last one, episode three. Now, uh, now, um, this is the one I actually helped with. Uh, I voiced a character called T P Boomer. The um. The opposite of P.T. Boomer from the director's cut of the Magic Railroad. So, this is going to be interesting. So, um, let's see how this goes. This is uh, seven minutes. All right. Just see what the time is, just because. Okay, cool. Here we go. Little ponies can do big things. Sorry, I'm itchy. I don't know why. I love this music so much. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. Daylight Chronicles. Written by... Okay, yeah, cool. What a beautiful day. Indeed it is, but there was something I wanted to ask Daylight. What do you want to ask him? Mr. as TP Boomer, okay. Well, since we last met him the other day, after his accident, I wanted to know his backstory. Yeah, since he's our new friend. Understandable. Let's go to his house and ask him. Right. Well, 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 if it isn't Cody and Sedgwick, how are you doing, my neighbors? Oh, neighbors, cool. Hey, buddy, me and Cody were wondering. Oh, about what? Do you want to say it, or should I? We want to know your backstory. I'll say it. We want to know your story. You don't mind, do you, Daylight? No, of course I don't mind. I would love to tell my backstory. Oh, please, do come in, guys. That's okay, guys, have a seat, grab some snacks, and we can begin my lovely story time of my backstory. Okay, we're ready for story time. Okay, <laughs> Sedgwick and Cody, let's begin my backstory. But first, let me find my whistle. I always like to start a good whistle uh, to start my stories. Right, here we fine. go. Sorry, I just need you behind that because I love that sound effect so much. Story. But first, let me find my whistle. I always like to start a good whistle to start my stories. Right, here we go. So cool. Long, long ago, when I was just a wee little stallion, I lived in a place called Philadelphia. Okay. And at the time, my cousin Twilight Sparkle was living near Canterlot. Now, this was before I got my cutie mark, of course, but I was still interested in machines that rode on rails. And when I first saw one of these machines on rails, I always wondered, where, what are these things? My parents, of course, told me that they were called trains, of course. And I thought to myself, wow, these machines called trains are very cool. And since my parents knew I was interested in trains, we decided to take a trip to a place called the Stallionburg Railroad, not too far from Philadelphia, and I've train. always enjoyed that, that place. So cool. It was full of trains, full of ponies everywhere. And once we got off the train, we decided to watch those trains at the Stallionburg Railroad go by with those lovely and happy pony passengers going by. That is really cool. And I knew... I just knew that these iron horses were my destiny. Being a train conductor on these machines, it was something I can do as a stallion when I grow up in the near future. What about how I got my cutie mark? We'll get to that right now. Hmm. 
One day, back in Philadelphia, when I was studying in class at the Philadelphia school, we were introduced to a new pony student in the class. His name was T.P. Boomer. I thought he looked friendly, but apparently, he didn't look friendly whatsoever. He looked so upset he wouldn't sit next to anyone, and he had a big T.P. as a cutie mark on his flank. That's cool. Don't ask why he has that, he just does, because I have no clue. That's cool. Later, after school was over, I was going home until I noticed what Boomer was doing. <laughs> you're a loser. Hey, you can't talk to me like that, you little buck. <laughs> Come on, Boomer, leave her alone. She didn't do anything to you. Oh, look, it's Mr. Twinkletoe coming to stop me. <laughs> yeah, I am. And what are you going to do about it? Oh, look, it's a train. Train? Where? You're coming with me. <gasps> Boomer, don't do it! Hold your breath, Moon Doggy. No! <laughs> hey, you can't just do that to me, you little. Oh, look who's back. The yellow blue haired puffball. I just want you to know, even though you tried to drown me in a toilet, revenge is nothing I do in my house and my family. I'm sorry, I just love all these references like Magic Railroad, Shiny Time, Toy Story. Like, these references are so cool. Dude, great job on it. Also, very quickly, the design for TP Boomer, I really like it. Also, because it's blue and blue is my favorite color. But also, I just like how it's a big TP. As his cutie mark, I like that. Also, when I was recording Alliance, I had no idea what I was doing. But after now, it makes total sense. But at the same time, it's so weird seeing myself play a bully. Because I, I am a really nice guy. And I, I really don't like being mean. So it's so weird hearing my voice play a bully. But I will admit, I actually kind of can do a cool evil laugh. But it's so cool. It, it, it's so cool, but so weird. But it's really enjoyable at the same time. Props to you, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. But in case you didn't notice, we are not in my house, are we? So that means you're gonna get some good consequences coming at ya. Uh oh. Ah! Da, 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 ah! Oh, okay, come on. You want a piece of me? Ah! Uh, da! Yeah. Okay, Daylight, you may have taken me down, me. but me and my family are, are moving to Manhattan. But I will return one day, and I will have my revenge! Whew, I hope I don't have to see that guy again. Oh, and Miss, I'm sorry that he's been picking on you. Oh, cool. it's okay, Daylight, and I'm amazed that you were able to stand up to him. You're the bravest little stallion I know. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, cool. Whoa! The, 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 I got me a, a, a cutie mark! Wow! And it's a star! I wonder what that represents. I think it represents that you just made a friend. That's what I think the star means. And that you were brave like a knight in shining armor. Oh, wow, that it. is just, that is just, ugh. I can't wait to show my parents. I can't wait to show my cousin Twilight Sparkle. She's going to be super impressed next time I see her near Ganterlot. Three cheers for young Daylight Twinkle. Hip hip hooray! Hoop hoop hooray! Hip hoop hooray! Wow, your backstory was amazing and actioning. Actioning. And how you earned your cutie mark? That's cool. Yeah. I can't believe you got bullied by this boomer fella. Yeah, I know. It was tough times. But it was how I got interested in trains and how I earned my cutie mark and how I was able to stand up to myself. And I just hope I don't get my head dipped in those ugh, toilets again. Yeah. No, it's not fun. <laughs> 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 So I just how he was laughing. I can't even help but laugh at it. In a good way, because it, it makes me chuckle. Okay, well, um, my thoughts on Equestrianville. So far, a really cool series. Uh, 
each episode is straight to the point, has a lot of great references, uh, some good humor, I like the characters. It is really cool when uh, Mr. Midblock said he wanted to do a movie. So, uh, yeah, no, I, if the rest of the season is good as this, I say do it. I, I really am looking forward to it. Um, I... I, I, I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen to T.P. Boomer. Like, you know, maybe he was a... Reminds me of Burnett Stone and P.T. Boomer. Like, they were friends... No, no. Were they friends? No. Uh, you know, they were jerk... They were jerks to each other, then Boomer came back for revenge. I wonder if that's going to happen with T.P. Boomer. But, no, in general, this is cool. Like, great references, great jokes. Um, The sound effects are really good. Uh, it's as a fan made series, it's really cool. And the idea of Daylight Twinkle being Twilight's cousin, that is really cool as well. And yeah, it, it's just really good. I, I really like this. And I definitely cannot wait to see how the rest of the season goes. If it's good as this, then bring on the movie. I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, the voice actor was really good. The sound effects, again, this was a really well done made series. I can clearly tell. Excuse me. I can clearly tell everyone working on this, uh, including myself, had a fun time. And if TP Boomer ever comes back, I'll voice him again. I had a fun time with it. And um, yeah, Mr. Midblocks, great job. This was really fun. And I can't wait to see the rest of the series. I really enjoyed it. And dude, if this season is, is good as these three episodes, do a movie. Because this is a really good idea. And... I cannot wait to see where this series goes. So, again, great characters, good, really good story. The sound effects and references are great, and it's funny too. It it's just a really charm, really charming series. How this series doesn't have more of a following, I am really kind of shocked on. But yeah, great job, dude. You, I can clearly tell you love making this series, and good for you, dude. I'm glad you enjoy making it, and. Thanks for making it, because hey, this is really cool. You don't see many things like it anymore. With that said, everyone, um, I'll put a link down of Mr. Midblock's um, channel. And uh, I also do the first three episodes of Equestrianville, if you want to watch it. And um, actually, he has a playlist, so I think I'll do a link for each playlist, so it makes it easier. Because sometimes I screw up when I put links down in the description. So, yeah. But yeah, this is really good. and. A link will be down in the description for his series, but also his channel. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you all had a fun time. I definitely did. And uh, thanks again, Mr. Midblocks, for this. This was really cool, and I look forward to watching more in the future, dude. With that said, everyone, I'm Sitch Underground, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.